You're in Bocas del Toro, one of many islands off the coast of Panama in Central America. A paradise for tourists around the world and a home for few. So great, you know, it was only my family was on this island for as I remember. My dad, my mom, and my four brothers, five with me. And it was so great that I could get up every morning. And the first thing I used to do is grab my fishing line, hand line, run down to the beach and cook one and fight this fish. But like many small islands across the globe, the environment is changing. It used to be so many fish when I was a kid, when I was growing up. And now you go to the reef, them, and it's a shame that you don't see those big school of big school of snappers. It takes hours sometimes to catch one fish. So that's big difference now. Sebastian, a boat captain, and his father Chencho have seen their home change in ways they couldn't have imagined when they fished decades ago. Chencho, once a top fisherman in the area now devotes his life to protecting the wildlife he shares his home with, especially the sea turtles. The protection of the island is the, the turtle, you know. Every year the turtle come and lay and nest here and nest here and nest here. But what happens when it don't have any bees? As Earth's climate changes, marine ecologists like Yanina Seaman study the coral and fish populations to measure the impact of humans. We are basically trying to do an underwater mapping of two reef species, which are the finger coral and the lettuce coral. They're the reef builders here in the area. They're so amazing because they managed to survive out here. Even it's a very atypical reef environment and they are losing reef coverage. So this, the reefs are basically getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The reefs act as a barrier, protecting the islands from erosion, giving species like the sea turtle a place to nest and fish a place to feed. The people here, most of the people live off tourism, but it, at the same moment it's causing problems because every person who's coming here is bringing in garbage, wastewater. Tourism is the lifeblood of the economy here in Bocas, but it is killing the ecosystem that attracts so many visitors. Fishermen like Chencho and Sebastian, who once lived off the sea, now depend on tourism dollars to keep their island's economy afloat. I mean, it's kind of sad, you know, you, you grow up there, you live there, you enjoy this place and then for a while, or maybe when you get older, it's gone to nothing. With sea levels rising and temperatures increasing, many of the islands near Bocas del Toro may soon no longer exist, washing away into the ocean that once protected them. It is the hope of locals and scientists alike that these environments, through protected laws and fishing restrictions, will return to their once untouched state. Me feel so good. I'm so happy about that because then now my my kids them and my grandchildren them can come and see what is a sea turtle now in real and not just not by a boat or by a picture. Steve Johnson, Weather.com.